Governor Doug Burgum has made it clear. Under the Donald Trump administration, Iran's financial strength was significantly diminished. In stark contrast, the Joe Biden administration has seen a shift in this dynamic. Under President Trump, Iran was on its knees financially. The failed sanctions of the Biden administration has allowed that country to go from literally being broke to now having hundreds of billions of dollars, all from, from their oil sales, which they're using to fund Hamas, Hezbollah, uh, and the Houthis. I mean, so we're, 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 we're basically funding two sides of the war. Biden's energy policy is funding our enemies, and then we fight in Congress over how much we should fund our side. And, and some of the positions that they're taking to try to restrict Israel's ability to conduct that war, I just feel like, again, they're, they're on the other guy's side. I mean, how about... How about no more aid to Hamas, no more peer to unload aid until you release the hostages? That would be negotiating for, for Americans that are held captive now for over 230 days. You know, that would be uh, something where I feel like he's negotiating for our side. This situation underscores the validity of conservative economic and foreign policies, which emphasize national security and economic might. I wholeheartedly support Doug Burgum's critique of Joe Biden's energy policy and its unintended fallout inadvertently funding adversaries like Hamas, Hezbollah, and the Houthis. This can be seen as a glaring failure of the current administration and highlights the urgent need to revert to more effective strategies. Doug Burgum argues that the Biden administration's policies, albeit indirectly, empower enemies who could threaten our national security. His stance reflects strong leadership and unwavering patriotism advocating for tougher negotiations concerning American hostages.